Okay, in this presentation what I'm going to do is look at how to install packages from GitHub repositories. So, my starting point here is the comprehensive OR archive network, CRAN or CRAN, okay, and this is where we might download OR, or it's also the repository for where all the packages are, okay. So, you should be fairly familiar with it at this stage. Now, what I want to do is actually install a version of a package, in this case ggplot, that's not yet on CRAN. It's the development version, and as such, it's actually got extra features that are not currently on CRAN. Now, just be careful with this stuff, because you might there might be unexpected bugs. I'll just give you a quick example. I'm actually using... Um, 3.4.4 as the R version we're actually currently 3.5 is the it has been released to the public now there's just a couple of little glitches and they have to be ironed out bit by bit that's just a sort of part and parcel of working with R so this is a clean installation of 3.4.4 I've nothing installed so what I'm going to do first off is install a thing I need called dev tools okay now this is going to take a while so I'm just going to go to the Irish Mirror because I'm based in Ireland, Cran Mirror, okay. And it's going to install some packages there while I wait. What I'm also going to do actually is I'm going to install dplyr just after this because it will install a lot of background packages that would be required for ggplot. Uh, I'm not I, off the top of my head I can't think of any that I need. I would probably need dplyr packages in the background, like things like orlang and binder and stuff like that, that will have working in the background. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is call the package DevTools, okay, and the command is GitHub, install underscore GitHub. So what I'm going to do is actually the repository name or well the github is the organization's name okay is sorry tidyverse and the actual r package that i want to download is called ggplot2 okay so let's give that a go there now this probably might not work in the first instance because it might this is a clean installation it might tell me i have to update a package called orlang or something like that or i'm missing something but the, it'll give me an error message, and essentially what I might need to do is just take a install another package there and just repeat the process. So there might be a little bit of trial and error here. No, don't. There might be a little bit of trial and error here, and we might not get it to work at the first instance. So what you should do there is just read the R messages, the warning messages, carefully and sort of see what happens. Okay. Now, I'll be honest with you, what motivates me for this particular exercise is that there's functionality on the development version of ggplot2, and it's related to simple features, which related are, is essentially map files or shape files. So there's a JOM in it, if you're familiar with ggplot2, called JOM underscore SF, and I want to use that for a further analysis later on. So what I'm going to do is, it's not on the CRAN version, it's not on the general release version of ggplot2, but it's on the development version, okay? Now what I'm going to do is pause this for a second, because it this takes a while, okay? So I'm just going to pause it and come back when I'm finished. So seemingly I'm done. It took a few moments. Uh, it's a big job. So what I'm going to do now is just check what I have, okay? So what I'm going to do first off is call the library ggplot2. Okay, so that's straightforward enough. We're back to normal here. Now what I'm going to do is actually call individual, uh, see what we actually have installed, what functionality is available to us to the current version of ggplot2 as we have it installed. So the command there is ls, that's an L by the way, uh, package uh, colon ggplot2 okay now this is going to give us a big long list of 453 objects so that's a bit too long to look at so let's just actually pick out the first hundred okay 
Yeah, we're only starting into the joms there. Okay, so let's have to go back on that. Let's go to 100 and to, let's say, 150. See, there we have it now. Okay, so if you were to install a uh, CRAN from CRAN ggplot2, you would not have that there. <laughs> at, at, at the time of... Um, at the time of the recording of the video now actually what should happen is that that will uh, should update soon but it's still how to install packages from github is the overall theme of the um, video so this some things change some things will stay the same it's interesting to see what other things we have there as well like jom qq line and so on okay jom density as well which is one of my favorites Okay, so I th those I think are both on CRAN, but JOM SF right now is not on CRAN. Okay, and a couple of interesting things here that sort of herald the future. I'm not sure what that's about, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so essentially we're able to use JOM SF and we're able to make maps out of that. Okay, but so in a nutshell, we've installed a package from GitHub, which is the point of the exercise. So we'll leave it there.